Getting enough protein is a hot topic right now. It's key to building muscle and can aid in weight loss by helping people feel fuller longer. But experts say many people don't realize that getting sufficient protein is also crucial for our brain. Protein is good for the body and mind. Protein is, is one of the macronutrients that we need to maintain muscle. And there's research showing that when people consume um, an adequate amount of protein as we age, it can actually protect our brain health and it can slow cognitive decline that occurs naturally as we age. But that doesn't mean we should eat loads of meat. Dr. Sandra Darling specializes in lifestyle medicine at the Cleveland Clinic. She says protein can be found in all kinds of foods, including meat, cheese, eggs, fish, beans, lentils, nuts, and seeds. So how much protein should we be eating on a daily basis? Dr. Darling says for adults under 65, the recommendation is about one gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. For someone who weighs 150 pounds, that works out to be 68 grams a day. After age 65, the recommended amount is 1.2 grams per kilogram of weight. That would be about 81 grams for a senior who weighs 150 pounds. While it may be tempting to get your protein from foods like meat and cheese, experts say plant-based sources are often healthier and contain more fiber and other vital nutrients. One other tip, we need to um, consume that amount of protein per day, but specifically divided among three meals. So people tend to uh, increase their protein intake in the evening. For example, eating meat with dinner. But it's better for our health and for maintaining muscle mass to actually divide up that total protein among three meals per day. And Dr. Darling says protein bars and protein powders are okay to consume on occasion, but since they often contain sweeteners and other additives, it's best to get your protein from whole foods whenever possible.